Hello friends, we are going to draw a flowchart to calculate the sum of the elements in an array. So this is the logical chart of the flowchart. I am obtaining an input n for the array size I am declaring an array declare we have an array with the size n Now I am placing a variable i, the loop variable i equal to 0. So I am checking condition. If i less than n. I am applying an input for the array. Input input a of i. Now, I am incrementing the loop variable i equal to i plus 1 and connecting it back to the flow of the condition statement if i less than n input a of i what is the initial value of i i equal to 0 so input a of 0 that means the input for the array's index position 0 will get stored in the step i will get incremented by 1, i is 1 now, it will check again 1 less than n, it is true, input a of 1. So, value for the index question 1 will get stored, again i will be incremented, condition will check. So, this loop will store the array values 0 to n minus 1. So, for array size n, the value starts from 0, end with n minus 1, so the input will get stored here. If i less than n is true, yes. So, this loop will go and will store the value from a of 0 to n minus 1. If it is false means, I am giving it as a no. Here, I am initializing two variable set i equal to 0, comma, sum equal to 0. Now, I am checking a condition. If i less than n, if it is true, I am adding I am adding sum equal to sum plus a of i sum equal to sum plus a of i now I am incrementing i by 1 i equal to i plus 1 and writing it back to the condition statement if i less than n sum equal to sum plus a of i i will get incremented by 1 again i less than n will be checked 
sum equal to sum plus a. For example, here i value is zero, so sum equal to zero. I less than n, it is true. Sum equal to sum plus a of zero. I will get incremented by one. I is one now. One less than n, if it is true, then sum equal to existing value of sum. That means the value of a of zero will be stored in the sum along with this. Now i equal to one, a of one will get added. I will be get incremented by one again. I less than n will be checked. If it is true, again existing value of sum plus a of two will get added. So in this loop. The array values from a of zero to a of n minus one will get added with the variable sum. So all the elements are added in the variable sum. If i less than n is false, in such a case, I am printing the value in the variable sum. Print sum, and this is the logical end of the flowchart. So in this flowchart, I am appending the array size n. I am declaring the array with the size n. This is in the value i equal to zero. So this is the loop input loop. This will go from zero to n minus one. That means input a of i, i equal to zero. The value for the index question here, zero will get stored. I will be get incremented by one. Again, the condition is checked. So this loop will execute continuously. The values from the here zero to here n minus one will get stored in this loop. If i less than n is false, means again I am initializing i equal to zero. I am initializing variable sum. I am checking the condition. If i less than n, it is true, means sum equal to sum plus i of i. I will get incremented by one. Again, i value will be checked. i is less than n, it is true. Sum equal to sum plus a of i. Likewise, the value from zero to n minus one will get stored in the variable sum. If i less than n is false, I am printing the value of the sum. That means the array values are added, stored in the variable sum, and we get printed here. And this is the logic end of the flowchart. Now we will take a sample input and check how this flowchart works. So input n, I am giving n equal to five. Declare a of n. I am declaring an array, the size pi, from the index position zero to n minus one. Index position zero, index position one, index position two, index position three, index position four. The array name is a. Set i equal to zero. I am introducing a variable i equal to zero. I am checking the condition zero less than Yeah. What is the value of n? N equal to five. Zero less than five. This is true. Then input a of i. So a of zero. Value for a of zero will get stored. For a of zero, I am giving a value one. I equal to i plus one. I equal to zero plus one, which is equal to one. If i less than n, I am checking condition one less than five. The condition is true. Input a of i. So i value is one. E of one. I am storing a value two. I equal to i plus one. I equal to existing value of i equal to one. One plus one, which is equal to two. Now I am checking condition i less than n. So two less than five. The condition is true. Input a of i, so a of two. I am storing the value three. I equal to i plus one. I equal to existing value of i equal to okay two. Two plus one, which is equal to three. I am checking the condition three less than five. Three less than five is true. So input a of three. A of three. I am giving the value four. I equal to i plus one. I equal to existing value of I equal to three. Three plus one, which is equal to four. I am checking condition I less than n. Four less than five. Condition is true. Input a of I. Input a of four. I am storing a value five. I equal to I plus one. I equal to four plus one, which is equal to five. So five less than five. I am checking a condition. 
5 less than 5 is false. So the control will come out of this loop and if it will come to this place, set i equal to 0. So input is over. Now I am visualizing i equal to 0. So now I am visualizing i equal to 0, i equal to 0, sum equal to 0, sum equal to 0, i less than n, 0 less than n, what is n value, n value is 5, 5 is true, sum equal to sum plus a of i, sum equal to existing value of sum equal to 0 plus i value is 0, a of 0 and y value 1, 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1. i equal to i plus 1, i equal to existing value of i is 0, 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1. Check the condition, i less than n, 1 less than 5 which is true, sum equal to sum plus a of i sum equal to the existing value of sum is 1 plus i value is 1, 1 plus e of 1, a of 1 and y value 2, 1 plus 2 which is equal to 3. Now I am implementing i by 1, i equal to i plus 1, i equal to existing value of i equal to 1, 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. Now I am checking condition i less than n, 2 less than 5 which is true sum equal to sum plus a of i. So sum equal to existing value of sum is 3, i value is 2, a of 2 I having value 3, 3 plus 3 which is equal to 6. I am incrementing i by 1, i equal to i plus 1, i equal to existing value of i equal to 2, 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3. Check my condition, i less than n, 3 less than 5 condition is true, sum equal to existing value of sum plus a of i, sum the existing value of sum is 6 plus i value 3 and a of 3 I am having value 4 which is equal to 10 I am incrementing i by 1, i equal to existing value of i is 3, 3 plus 1 which is equal to 4. And checking condition i less than n, 4 less than 5 condition is true, sum equal to existing value of sum which is 10 plus a of i, i value is 4, so a of 4 and having value 5 equal to 15 and incrementing i by 1. Existing value of i is 4, 4 plus 1 which is equal to 5. Checking condition i less than n, 5 less than 5 which is false, it is false, if you come out and print sum, so 15 is my output. And the flowchart ends here, it is the logical stop of the flowchart. So, my output is 15. See, all of the elements I am having in the array, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 4, 10, 10 plus 5 equal to 15. So my output is correct. This flowchart is working perfectly. That's it. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, share, comment and press the bell button. Thank you.